Zena Garrison to serve. First game, first set. Behind the door. And now they'll wait for the fans behind her to settle. Thank you. Nowhere near the capacity. The crowd is yet, but that'll change. Fifteen love. This, this is going to be a battle of who can get to the net first, even off the other person's serve. Serve set up that point for Garrison. Garrison beat Martina in the quarters here last year, and then she said had a real letdown in the semis against Sabatini. She said, I won't let that happen today. I won't have a letdown after, after this, my big Everett win. They both are very confident. At least they say so. You're never sure. 30-15. Well, you just about have to be after getting this far, not losing a set in either case. You have to feel you're doing something right. measured ground strokes by Martina didn't rush it that was not her attempt to actually win the point this one was she got the previous one down so Zena had to volley somewhat defensively and then was able to win it with the next shot and we're deuce. advantage garrison Martinez played two very strong game points against in a row now off that side. Both times Zena's gone to the forehand. He can extract some errors off her forehand, but she can hit some winners. Love. Garrison won the first game of the first set. Second seeded Martina Navratilova serving now at 15 love. Yeah. 
30 love. See the good net coverage by Martina, the good touch. The forehand volley is a little bit more suspect than her backhand volley. And as quick as Zena is, she wasn't able to get to that one. 30 love. <laughs> It's her only double. Again, there wasn't there was a lot of spin on this ball, but not not real teeth on it, not a lot of stick she paid for. Oh boy. Badly shanked. 34. Very uncharacteristic. Well. Uh, Martina. <clears throat> it is, but again, this is following the same pattern as last year, Pat. Didn't really set up real well for that. Didn't get it to the side quickly enough. Her feet were still moving as she tried to hit it. So now it's break point. All over that one. Right on top of the net. <laughs> yes. It's so important that Martina holds in this game because this will set the tone for the match. If, if Zena is holding serve and thinking she can swing away on Martina's, it'll shake Martina's nerves. Advantage never to my mind, Martinez playing this match is playing well enough to be dictating this match. I and mean, it's up to her whether she wins or loses the semifinal. Beautifully done. Yes. Back at Deuce again. Martina knows that if she doesn't come in behind her serve, Zena's going to come in. And so she. At least to this point, has been coming in behind both first and second serves. Ball. Advantage to have a love. Second time, Martina really crowds the net. It's got to send a message to Zena that you've got to go over her head on her second shot. Look how close she is. That's a dangerous spot to be if you get that close to the net. Not a good serving game at all for Martina. Her first trip out. Even if Zena loses this game, she's got to feel good. Advantage to Obviously, the airplane's disturbing Martina. Take off out of LaGuardia. Game, Navratilova. Games are one all now. First set. One all. Again, the only loss was here last year. Of that loss, Martina says, I never avenged it. I've beaten her since, but I'll be remembering that match for the rest of my life.
15 love. Short approach shot and fine backhand by Garrison. She slices up some backhands when she tries to make the passing shot. She normally goes over it. take some speed off my first serve, get a higher percentage in, or just come in by myself to keep her from coming in. The second serve, Zena's been going to Martina's forehand, making her have to swing at it rather than chip it with the backhand. Fifteen forty. Now two break points for Martina. Back at the U.S. Open after this work from your local station. Women's semifinal: Martina Navratilova and Zina Garrison. Navratilova coming off the service break leads 2-1 in the first set of the semifinal. And again, waiting for the crowd to settle. Solid, convincing backhand by Garrison. She's elected so far to try to chip. Here's our little net cam. Little cam right at the base of the, in the middle of the net, catching Martina being passed. 15 all. I think what she's doing better this year, Tony, is she's she's picked up the racket speed. You know, and that's why she's getting a, a lot more stick, and she seems so much more confident on her shots. When Zena, she starts you. choking, Zena, right? When she starts choking, getting tight, that racket speed slows down, and because she strings her, her the tension on her strings is so low, her balls start floating and flying. So we'll see if she can keep up that beautiful racket, rate, that quickness throughout this match. Tina disturbed by some movement back of Zena Garrison. Be ready. <laughs> See, there goes some more lost luggage. They do, they do make a racket. Oh. 
Deuce. Very good return of service. She takes it early, and she's attacking the ball. She's, in most cases, not being careful or defensive, which is good. Hit! First, First serve. serve. Her return stance was designed to make sure she hits the racket early, keeping it way out in front, waving it in front of her. There's a crutch on those, a visual crutch, a reminder. I've had a little to be out in front. It's, a, it's a, a return of serve stance she developed three years ago at a clay court tournament. Her coaches told her to take the ball early and play that way. In that tournament, she won it. She beat Chris Eder for the first time. chokes up on the racket on her ground strokes. She doesn't do it when she's serving. Oh! Yes. Yes. You just saw how tough it's been for someone to break Martina this tournament, broken only twice. That's true of Steffi Groff as well, going into the semis against Sabatini. That'll be later this afternoon. Oh! I've had it to know Difficult for a right-hander to step around the left-hander swinging serve. It keeps chasing into your body. That's twice now that Zena's been trapped with that slice serve coming into her body. Game, Navatilova. That makes it 3-1. Navatilova leads 3-1. In the first set. When you see that serve coming in there like that, you should step the other way and take it on the backhand side. The curving of the ball just clears it away from your body and gives you a free swing at it. This is the women's semifinal. Martina against Zena Garrison at the USTA's National Tennis Center. 1989 United States Open. It's another area that, that Zena's improved. I think her serve a few years ago, she used to take a little walk into the ball. She was very mechanical. Fifteen all. That was a pretty shot. From way off the court. She's had a tremendous year, Garrison. She's now been in the semis of all four Grand Slams. It has not gotten to a final yet. Maybe today, who knows? 30 15. She's got another big event coming up in a couple weeks, too, doesn't she? <laughs> She's getting married. Credits this man, Willard Jackson, with a, an awful lot of her happiness and confidence in 1989. Yes! Second serve. That, of course, the fiance. Thirty. I really, I get the feeling that this match was decided early by Martina when she had those two key holes in trouble because now I have a feeling Martina's going to start opening up and really going for her shots. Oh! Zena knows she had a couple of opportunities and just wasn't able to come through. Martina's dictating the policy right now too is the, the style of play that suits Martina.
Garrison. Rectalova leads three games to two. First set. Back at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York, as we uh, get ready to return into the stadium court, a reminder that we have following today on our triple header of tennis, the men's doubles final, McEnroe and Woodford against Flack and Seguso, and then that's followed by the women's singles semifinal between Steffi Groff, the top seed and defending champion against Gabriela. And in the stadium, Martina Navratilova leading three games to two in the first set of the semifinal, and Martina serving. 15 love. Thirty love. That's the problem when you try to chip a return. If you don't get it real low, because it's not trailing very fast, the server can get in pretty close, get the ball fairly high, and make a good aggressive volley. Driving the ball, it gets to your opponent more quickly, and they don't have as much time to get in a good bowling position. Oh, That's four double falls for Martinez. She thought that one might have been good, but because Zena is standing in so close on that second serve and, and a threat to take it and come in, Martinez trying to get extra depth and was just missed over that service line a couple times. I always like when you miss big instead of into the net. At least you, you know, get the feeling that you're going for your shot. Sure. Not necessarily because she gets nervous. You're just trying to do something a little extra special because you know the other person can return well. Shots and on your way in. If you miss one over the baseline once in a while, that's a lot better than hitting in the net. You're going for depth, trying to hurt your opponent. See where she chokes up on that racket. Martina completely in control here. First volley, not that difficult. This one stays up, so that made it a pretty simple volley for a quality volleyer like Martina. 40 30. Dude. Five double falls now. The first serve gives her trouble. The rest of her game slides backwards. If she's serving extremely well, then the rest of her game picks up. So this could be a critical service game for her. She's only winning 20% of the points on her second serve. So she should be spinning in her first serves. Then in a way that plays into Zena's hand because you take away her first serve as a weapon. So that's the dilemma that a Martina has to deal with.
with another to move of Ali Cole. 30 love. Nice pickup coming from, Mart from Martina. She gave a slight glance at the lines person who called us out. But again, Zina was all over her anyway. She really was so quick. That's the best looking forehand I've seen Mar Martina hit today. I have a feeling Zina's gonna try to break down the, the Navratilova forehand, which is a shot that does tend to break down under pressure at the net as well as from the baseline. That one was well struck. She needed it too. Got it. 40-15. Second ace by Garrison. Second serve coming up from Martina Navratilova, who leads 4-3 in the first set of this women's semifinal. Love the team. Again, Martina just not playing as cleanly as she's played in the rounds up to now. And Tina's just thinking at this point, make her shake. the subway while making their way over to the stadium to watch this one in semifinal. Well, the newspaper said you want to take the train out the subway. Don't be driving if you help it because with the Mets in town, it's congested around here. Tremendous point from Garrison here to find this lob. But did you see what Martina was doing? She was closing because Mar uh, Zena has not forced away from that net with some lobs like that. 15-30. Great idea for Zena to do against Martina because now Martina has to worry about the lob, can't close the net as she has been. And another double. 15, 40. Isn't this something? That's six. This is this is a rematch of last year at this point. And this is nerves. Sure it is. That was nerves sure right there. This there were first serve percentages. Again, Martina was playing well enough, I think, to have commanded this match. But now she can't shake Luzina. A miss volley, a forehand. That levels things at four. And right now Martina's four. playing herself. Dead even. Well, I'm not so sure. And if she's uh, has known to to get nervous and and her game falls apart, the forehand volley is shaky at times. Big opportunity for Zena to get out in front. And an excellent way to take advantage of the opportunity. 15 love. It's three aces for Zena. 15 love. Here's a look at Zena's service motion. Much more natural looking serve than it once was. She did pull that racket out in the back a little longer than you might suggest, but she's serving much, much better. Beautiful. 
30-15. Lovely sliced lob over Zena. This just floated right past Zena's reach. Zena's getting a little over 60% of her serves in, first serve. It's aggressive toss Zena has on that first serve, too. It leads her into the court. Now we get a test of Garrison's nerves. <clears throat> Capriati up a set and a break in the juniors. That's Jennifer, Jennifer Capriati, is 13 years of age, the, the French junior champion, an absolute phenom, a marvelous, marvelous prospect. Oh! Talked to her father down at Greenleaf where they play, and he said, you must be proud of your daughter for her accomplishments. He said, she's a nice girl. That's what really makes me proud. Semi-final between Martina Navratilova, Zena Garrison. Navratilova serving 4-5 in the first. And this is where she really needs to serve a good service game because she was shaking her last service game. She has a struggle in this one and serves another double or two. It can be a, have a terrible effect on her for the match. 30 love. So far effective. Two first serves. Now well, we have two players that are terrific athletes. Four, three, three. Really move well. A real important ingredient in, in this game. Agility. And, and Martina is so graceful. Some sort of lose sight of that sometimes, how well she moves and how graceful she is in the process. Watch this one again and see how quickly Martina gets on the short serve. See, she's only a couple steps behind the service line when she makes contact, gets a good angle, wins it outright. Got it. Too far in backhand returns. Zena had been going into Martina's forehand at the beginning of, the, of this match, and I think she was better off doing that. She'd be wise to come back. Fifteen thirty. Martina's got such a great natural slice chip backhand return. I think mostly developed from her outstanding doubles play. And that's why it's so tough. Forces the serve the serve and volley are like Zena to hit up on the first ball. Gary 
Anderson has gone back twice to on Robert Talova's forehand. Earlier in Martina's career, here you'll see her missing this backhand volley. It's normally a very reliable shot for her. Earlier in her career, all she did was slice backhand. She didn't know how to top the ball, and she finally added that to her arsenal a little later. Made her that much more effective. 30 all, 5 all. Again, Martina dictating the policy. 38 40. She's putting on the pressure, coming in all the time, and Zena's the one that has to try to make all the good shots. Summer all with Tony Cravert and Mary Carrillo. Women's semifinal. Martina Navratilova serving at 6 5 in the first set. Oh. Look at Garrison. Look where she is. There's nobody in women's tennis that does that better than Martina. She has to stay out, but she does here for this backhand volley. She has more control over that ball. That wasn't an accident. She was trying to do that. Absolutely marvelous. Oh. Billy Jean King. And out helping Martina try to get the enthusiasm back. Or the last shot, but one prior that came straight at her from the tough spot, she tried to drop volley. Great looking point. Great looking point that last one from Zena. Real gutsy. Until its completion, then we'll be leaving for 
a half hour. Quiet, please. Back to our local Quiet, stations please. and then back for the men's doubles final and the other women's semifinal. Two break point chances for Garrison to take this into a tiebreaker. Six all, tie break. Watch the good racket preparation on this backhand. The racket's back, leans into it, the weight on that front leg. Here's another look. That was really solidly struck under difficult situation. Backhand, it, it looks like a fountain the way she hits it. So we're tiebreaker time now. And Navratilova wins the first game with a tiebreaker. 1 0 Navratilova. I said first game, I should have said first point. Now she'll serve two points. Break back. Martina, as fast as she is, realizes that she's not going to catch up to that one. All she could hope for that would go long, but it didn't. 2 1 Garrison. Navratilova wants to take this tie break from Garrison. She's got to be that aggressive for the rest of these points. Otherwise, Zena will be. Neither players want a point on serve in this tie break. Some extra positioning over there, shading off the court. And Garrison still found the mark, still got it over to Martinez's backhand. Got it right on the line. You really can't stay that far out of position. You've got to slide back once the toss goes up in the air. Three all. Three all to change hands. We're in a tiebreaker first set. Women's semifinal at the USTA's National Tennis Center. 3 3 in the tiebreaker. Bold wins this tiebreak. Garrison has been bolder in the last few games. Let's see whether Martina comes in behind the second serve. She chose not to. And one of the other points she was serving. Again by Garrison. 
And it looked like Martina had gotten back in the point with a perfect defensive lob that just carried long. Zena hoping this is going to go out. She didn't want to have to smash from back there. And it was close. Much lobby. 4-3. Garrison. Looked like Garrison flagged one yep. there, hit a ball that was going out. Watch Four. how high this ball is. And was driven. That ball was definitely going over the baseline. Zena didn't do much with the volley and paid a big price. 4-4. Four -four. Stay in. 5-4, Navatilova. Martinez sets up nicely and went the other way with that forehand. Two to get to 5 4. Martina took it, took the initiative. Zena just played slightly less aggressively. It's two set points now for Martina. And the first set, Navitalova, 7 6. First set, Navitalova. Here is a good crisp volley off a high return. Garrison was expecting it to go cross court. Martina went back the other way. Wrong footed her. And so Martina wins the first set in a tiebreaker. Martina Navratilova won the first set. Garrison in the semifinal. Really, I think on two points in that tiebreak, that when Zena played that out ball and ended up losing the point, and on the very next point, when Zena had a ball and didn't put away, and Martina came through. Love the team. I think those two points cost Zena Garrison that first set. Pretty good record there. And Martinez won the first set. He only lost four matches from that position. Zena thought she missed the volley. She thought the ball was out. She was right on top of it, Zena. Yeah. She had a good look, that's for sure. There's another look. Looks good. It's tough to tell when the ball actually makes contact with the court. That looked like it was on the paint. Yep. 15 all. Finals over in the grandstand. To be able to blank 12 seed Kim Casares in that second set. It's a remarkable thing for a 13 year old to do against much older peers. Much more experience. Oh. Here in the stadium, this match now an hour old. Jennifer over up one set. Jennifer Capriati winning the girls' 18 nationals would normally have gotten. A wild card into the U.S. Open because that's what they that's what they allow the boys and girls winners. But she's too young to take it right. according to the Women's International Tennis Association. Still only 13 years old. You have to be at least 14. They made that rule because they felt that people like Tracy Austin might have gotten hurt physically because she played too much too early. Game first game, second set. First game, game second game set. She won the first set. Just 
a reminder that uh, coming up will be Gabriella Sabatini and Steffi Drop, and of course uh, the winner of that match. Uh, ah! Up one set, the second set. We'll also show you the men's doubles final today. McEnroe Woodford against the Grizzly Black. I'm back to Pat Tony in the stadium court. Situation is that Martinez won the first set. Tie break. And has won the first game of the second set. Now she's serving. I beg your pardon. Garrison is serving. Seems to be measuring the passing shots better. She's not rushing like like she, she sometimes does. Good racket preparation and smoothly driving through the ball. She's had a lot of success. Zena thought her serve was out. She got inside the baseline and stopped. And when there was no call, she tried to come in and make a volley, but she was not in a very good spot at all. And keeps her opponents honest, doesn't she? Martina hit a good volley, but it wasn't wasn't good, quite good enough. They get to earn it. Yep. Garrison is sending a message to him that says you, you got to do much better than that. Oh! So I can track down even you know a, a nice, a solid, crisp volley I can still come back against Garrison. Losing the 10 pounds that Zena lost has to help her. She makes her quicker about the court and lets her be stronger. Last longer. She knows she can run as much as she has to in this match and not worry about conserving energy. Shot that with Martina miss hits sometimes uh, trying to rush it beforehand, but that she really measured very nice. It didn't over swing at the ball. Billie Jean King had said of Martina earlier in the year when she first started working with her. As we have a look at this, Billy said. Martina had been thinking about her opponents instead of thinking about her tennis. Right now, she's just thinking about her tennis, which is what she should do. This this big revenge match against Zena was working on her mind too much. Here's Billy. This is great point right here. Game over. Game over. Martina gets the two love lead. In the second set, after winning the first set. 
women's draw. The quarterfinals on. It'll be Graf and Sabatini later on this afternoon. To see who faces the winner of this one. Right now, Navratilova in command. I really feel a much different second set would be played from Martina had she lost it. But now, she's swinging freely. That's good. From Garrison. 30-15. She's tough that. to kick loose, isn't she, Garrison? Well, she's tough. She's a good player and very tenacious. More experienced than she was last year, obviously. So I don't think the moment is getting her as it did last year. to win that point. Took Martina off the net. And with that, Navratilova lost control of the point. Hit. First serve. Sir. into it with a lot of a lot of pace on your smash. You can also see where your opponent's gone before you have to hit it. This is pretty good stuff. Martino way off the back of the baseline and just rips this shot, draws the error from Garrison. 
Again, I think she's she's really loosened up her shoulder so much more in this second set. Yeah, this is a danger area for Zena. Doesn't want to get down two breaks. A solid point right there. Good all. Serve, good volley. Thirty all. That hold, of course, was vital to Garrison to keep her in this match. Had she lost there, you couldn't like her chances at all. Phenomenal record at the Open by Martina Navratilova. Four times the champion, twice a runner-up. And in those two runners-up, she lost in a tiebreak in the third set in those two finals. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. Every year, Wilson Sporting Goods and the Intercollegiate Tennis love. Coaches Association select coaches of the year. This year, uh, Kent DeMar is the men's tennis coach at the University of South Carolina, and Andy Brandy, the women's tennis coach at the University of Florida, win those awards. I want to congratulate them. They do a terrific job in intercollegiate tennis, and it's nice that they are acknowledged. Attempt, in my opinion, by Martina. Drive that ball back deep, get your foot behind the baseline as quick as she is at the net. Say, go ahead and try to pass me. Garrison was going to get there anyway. From overhead, the Fuji blimp piloted today by Captain Trevor Hunt. Beautiful day. It's smooth. Smooth sailing up there. Forty, thirty. Expensive points for Zena Garrison. Here's a chance for Martini to go up four one. That she does. 4 1 in the second set. Now the Palova. leads 4 1. Pat Summerall with Tony Trabert and Mary Carrillo is about to get down to the side. Here to the winner of the match. Oh. Here right now. Unless there is a drastic change, will be Martina Navratilova. And don't count Zena out. She's just down one service break. 15 love. Serving at 1 4. She's saying, I got to hold, get one break, hold, and I'm back even.
see Martina Martina after she made that attempt at passing shot but she motioned to herself hit the ball up in the air throw up that high lob. You're not going to beat somebody from way behind the baseline like that. Game Garrison. Navatilo the leads 4-2. So now it's 4-2. The women's semifinal at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York. Navarat Tilova won the first set. I think Zena's going to try to climb all over Martina's serve in this game. Well, I'd, I'd like to see her be a little more aggressive with return as she's been spending a lot of time just trying to get the ball down. And when it sits up at all, Martina closes on. I'd see her gamble a little bit more. Second set. rallies because as I mentioned earlier both these players want to get into the net and to this point Martina's done it more successfully than Zena has. Love 30. That's Willard Jackson who is Zena's fiance feeling the pressure. Oh, this is tough now because Martino will probably try to come in off the second serve, put some more pressure on. And it's three match points for the number two seeded Nervatilova. Steffi Grop seeded number one. And she'll play later this afternoon. They've been out there an hour and 26 minutes. Martina to this point had been finishing her matches an average of about 47 minutes. Game set match Navatilova. 7-6-6-2. One hour, 26 minutes it took. <laughs> Martina Navratilova is in the final. Here is match point. That court, Zena did a good job of getting it back. Didn't know which way to cover. She retreated a little bit. Martina got it down the line as she was passing the net post. Watched a good run here. Racket preparation directs it down the line. And when Zena looks up, she says, How'd you get way over here? 